be nice and hot. Let me just put this kettle up while you sip on this. You didn't say him last week that you, you wanted a, a face massage and head massage and all that. And <coughs> I'm sorry, I used this to do close up things like laundry and <coughs> reading. So, um, you want that face massage now? We both have some free time. Okay. I warn you, I'm not an expert. <laughs> nope. Just not sure. Tell me about that, that problem that that you've been having lately. Yeah, you know what you want to eat. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. That's fine. Just sometimes it helps to talk about these things. I'm always here to listen. can tell on your face that you have some worries. reminds me of something. Um, maybe you'd like to hear it. When, um, when I was a little girl, I used to get these kind of, like, magazine type book things, kind of like daily devotionals in the mail, and my dad would read them to us every night. And that kind of just reminded me of one that I found it to me the other day. If you want to hear it, yeah. Okay. Oh, it is here. Let me warn you, it's, it's very kid oriented. These are, well, they're called geese for kids because they're for kids, but, <coughs> but still, kind of like. Sure you hear it? Okay. Why not? Okay. This is called Invisible God. And the uh, description. 
scriptures for it are Psalms 34, 7 and 8, Matthew 18, 10, and Hebrews 13, 5, 6. Okay. As Tommy was scared, where's Mommy, he wondered, looking up and down the book aisle of the store. He had some colorful and exciting pictures in the short book, and had knelt down to look at those on the bottom shelf. Tommy had not noticed his mother leaving the book aisle. Mommy, where are you? He called, and his eyes slowly filled with tears when his mother didn't answer. Tommy nervously ran to the end of the aisle and searched both directions. Do you need help, little boy? asked the friendly saleswoman. I think I saw you with the lady over in the next aisle. Is she your mommy? As the woman spoke, Tommy's mother came around the corner. Tommy ran to her and grabbed her leg in a huge bear hug. I didn't know where you were, and I was so scared. Tommy's voice still shook. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I should have told you where I was going. I knew you were looking at the shark books, and I could see you through the bookshelf. Look. She pointed, and Tommy turned and peered through the shelves and into the next aisle. I was still watching you, and someone else was watching out for you, too, added Mom. Who? asked Tommy, looking surprised. God and his angels, Mom explained. God is always watching over you, even though you can't see him. Just like I was watching you, even though you didn't see me. That's good, said Tommy. I knew you'd never leave me. I just forgot. God won't leave you either, Mom assured him. I'll thank the lady for helping me find you, said Tommy, turning to look for the sales clerk. Do you see her? No, she must have gone to help someone else, answered Tommy's mom. Do you think she was an angel, asked Tommy. I don't know about that, Mom smiled. I suppose it's possible. I think she was, declared Tommy. Mom hugged him tightly. If you ever feel alone again, remember that God is with you, she reminded Tommy. I will, Tommy replied. It says, have you ever gotten lost or felt scared or alone? Did you know that many verses in the Bible speak of angels watching over you and helping people? Thank God for them. Even better, remember that he is always with you. Whenever you feel scared or nervous, breathe a quick prayer to God. Ask him to help you know what to do and trust him even though you can't see him. And the little, uh, the little box over here it says, Though unseen, God is with you. And the key verse for the day is, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 28. So, like I said, it's very good when it but it kind of pertains maybe to your situation a little bit. Let's go to front list one more. Carry her doll. So, we have to go so soon. Oh, we just got here. No, I understand. It's good to see you here. It's good to have your company. You know you're welcome here anytime, right? I want you to be just as comfortable here as you are in your own place. Yeah? Actually, give me just a second. I have something for you. I actually had a house key made for you. Do you want it? Oh, this is for you. It's, it's for my house. Oh, I trust you completely. I don't care what time you show up. Yeah, no, you're my best friend. You deserve it. Here. Take it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick it in your pocket here. You, you have to take everything you need. Okay. Okay. Well, come back anytime at all. No, I'm serious. Come back anytime. Anytime. One last hug before you go. Okay. Okay. Well, I love you so much. Okay. Alright. See you later. You both.